everyone. Welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have a nice design prepped here in front of me to celebrate the 4th of July. Now, 4th of July over here in the United States of America, where I live, is a very important day for Americans. It is the day that we celebrate our independence and becoming a free nation, and there is a lot of icons of American symbolism and culture. People instantly think of the Statue of Liberty. They think of Mount Rushmore. They think of the Declaration of Independence that was signed to give us our freedoms over here in this country and they think of the Liberty Bell. One of the other things I think that should come to mind is the nation's bird and that is what I have prepped here in front of me. It is a beautiful majestic bald eagle and you see there is the profile of the bald eagle and then there is another one soaring through the skies in the center of it. So really really cool. This is a beautiful pattern with not many internal cuts but it does have a ton of veining. Now veining over on the scroll saw is simply where you take the scroll saw blade in and follow your cut line here and then back it back out to give it a beautiful line of detail and just added beauty and it really brings scroll saw projects to that next level of awesomeness in my opinion so really really cool this project of course will lend itself to straight blades instead of the spiral blades because you have to back the scroll saw blade back out and with the 360 degree cutting capabilities of a spiral blade I think that would be very hard to do when backing the blade out along your detail line you have just cut now I've got the pattern photocopied to its full size and attached to our material with clear packing tape and we're going to stack cut and make two in this video. The pattern came from the old Creative Woodworks and Crafts magazine and the full size pattern came from the full size pattern section number two of the March 2005 issue. So this is an older pattern. I keep all of my pattern sections from the magazines that I pulled out in a tote out here in the workshop and I'll go through them periodically looking for something new and creative to make. I've got all of the patterns from all the magazines saved and I'm trying to track down all of the magazines but there you see the full size pattern that I photocopied because I always keep all of the pattern sections in as nice a shape as I can. So really, really cool. Since everything is prepared, let's head over to the drill press, drill all the pilot holes required so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we're going to take a small drill bit and drill all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And as I said, there's not very many. And then we will proceed to the scroll saw and begin scrolling. I am using a number 5 ultra reverse tooth blade for all of the cutting in this project and you can already see me doing the veining here around the eagle's eye and then just backing the blade back out. I think the number 5 blade is an appropriate size for the veining detail. It's just thick enough to give that right amount of detail once you run the blade into the line and back it back out. The pattern for this beautiful Majestic Eagle came from the old discontinued Creative Woodworks and Crafts magazine and since I only have the pattern pullout sections now and I'm still seeking out all of the magazines at the family house I do not know who designed the pattern so if anyone would know who the pattern designer is please let me know so I can properly credit them in the description box below. As always, I am taking my time and letting the blade do the work. And again, there's not very many internal cuts. All of the detail in this project is pretty much in the veining that we are doing. And I think it's just a great project, not only for the 4th of July holiday, but to also showcase how much detail veining can actually give a scroll saw project. You see me doing all of the feathers here and around the eagle's eye. Just taking my time and letting the blade do the work. And we are about to begin that final long outside cut to release the piece from the wood, but we are doing more veining that flows into the actual final cut. But then we will go back and retension the blade and follow along this line to release the piece from the waste wood. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on social media under the Artisan Pirate name. I'd really appreciate the support. All in all, it took me around 25 minutes or so 
to cut this project out. If you're familiar with a scroll saw, it will not take long at all. And if you need practice on scroll saw veining and that technique, I think this would be an exceptional project to learn it on. Again, the bald eagle, I think, is just one of those symbols of Americana and patriotism over here in America. And we've already cut out one eagle this year, the one I took to Clingspore in Asheville, but when I seen this pattern, when I was going through all of those pattern pullout sections, I know I had to cut it out. And we are about done with this cut. And keep in mind, this is not all of the scroll work on this project. We will still have to cut out the backer board. But all of the scroll work on the eagle is done and we'll set one aside and take some half inch material here and use the washer technique to get a perfect eighth inch border all the way around the project. I've just got firm pressure on my scroll work and just guiding the washer around the details of the eagle. And now we're going to step over to the bandsaw and release part of this just to make it a more manageable size. And I probably don't use the bandsaw as much as I probably should. But now we will come back to the scroll saw and use the same number 5 ultra reverse tooth blade to cut out the backer board and then we can proceed to sanding and finishing. I just had my music on and got lost in my world of sawdust and creativity. Now sanding with 180 grit sandpaper in the palm sander. And we will be careful when sanding the eagle to make sure not to break nothing off. But now we can begin the finishing process and I opted to stain the bald eagle with Minwax wood stain. And I just made sure everything was saturated before wiping off the excess stain with some t-shirt material and I hung it on a hook to dry and took the backer board outside and gave it a nice blue color of Rust-Oleum spray paint. And after all that dried, for around a couple hours it was time for finishing and I finished it and assembled it with CA wood glue this is medium grade CA glue and spring clamps and strips of wood to add pressure to the center details here and I let that dry around five minutes and then I came back and removed the clamps and double checked that everything looked all right and then we took the piece back outside and gave it several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss for a protective finish and make the grain pop and the project was complete. And here we have the completed American Bald Eagle cut out completely on the scroll saw with some amazing detail and he finished up nicely. Really happy with the results in this project. It took me around 30 minutes to scroll everything out and that's including all the scroll work of the eagle itself including all the veining work as well as doing the backer board out of the half inch material and I finished it with Minwax wood stain for the quarter inch material and a nice patriotic blue color for the backer board and I think it finished up nice. I've got another one to finish off camera and I might do the backer board on that one red. You know red, white, and blue are the colors of the United States of America so I think that will have some nice patriotic looks to it and I love how it's a picture within a picture. You have the profile of the majestic bald eagle but then you have one soaring through the skies and it looks like he's going through a mountainscape there. If you were really good with paints, you could go in here and really paint the mountains, maybe put some snow on them and paint the sky a lighter blue if you chose to do a blue backer board. But a lot of ways to finish a scroll saw project, which is why I love scroll sawing. So really, really cool. And you can see it's got some incredible detail, like with the smaller eagle's eyes, his beak, as well as the multiple details in the wings and the tail feathers and all. And that's just veining on the scroll saw and it adds an added 
detail and takes it to that next level in creativity when you can do veining work and do it good on a scroll saw. As always, I took my time and let the blade do the work. And I think the number five blade is the appropriate blade size to use for veining work on the scroll saw. Again, I don't think it would lend itself to spiral blade scrolling, but the number five blade is just thick enough to really give it that level of detail. If you went any smaller to like a number two or three blade, I don't think that line of detail would show up the way it's supposed to. That's just my opinion on that. You can by all means try it, but I've always used the number five blade for the majority of my scrolling as well as veining work, but really, really cool. Once again, the pattern comes from the old discontinued Creative Woodworks and Crafts magazine from the March 2005 issue, so it's a very old pattern, and it's in the section number two of it, and it is appropriately named nature's majesty so really showing off the patrioticness of an american bald eagle there you see the pattern i photocopied and this will now go back in the protective case with all the rest of my pull out pattern sections from all of my woodworking magazines that i've accumulated over the years but really really cool i think this is a great project to represent the fourth of july for the United States of America and just show that I'm proud to be an American. So really, really cool. I know here in my town of Bronson, North Carolina, where I live, we will do 4th of July fireworks at the city park, which we've already been to, that has the historic Denzel carousel. We went there in a previous Wednesday video, but really, really cool. I had a lot of fun making this, and I hope you guys like watching me make this. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one. And remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.